What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another, uh, I guess, flipping and run the foot market video. Um, we're going to be talking about Team of the Week 5, and it's an important Team of the Week to talk about because there's a lot of stuff to like. This is the first Team of the Week in a few weeks that I actually really like a lot of the uh, potential investments in this in this Team of the Week. Now, if you guys have watched this video and you're clicking on this for the first time, um, basically what we are going to do is we're going to talk about the players that have the highest rise potential in price out of packs within 14 days. So... The way I've been structuring the videos is I've been giving you guys the players that I like the most in the first few minutes. And then in the end, we talk about the players that could be a little bit like outside chances to rise and players that are a little bit cheaper for you guys. So enjoy the video today. Drop a thumbs up. And then, uh, yeah, well, let's get into it. So we've got a few players that I really, really like this week. The first one, and I think the number one for me this week in terms of value and, and return on investment that you may be able to get from this guy this week is going to be Digne. Now, Digne right now is about 60,000 coins. And if you guys haven't been keeping up with Team of the Week trends and things like that, Team of the Week has been cheapest on Saturdays for most weeks. It's been the buy day on Saturdays. But the risk of buying Team of the Week on Saturdays is that you have to avoid the pack supply on Mondays and Tuesdays, which is something that is not that easy to do. It's not an easy thing to do when EA has given us these crazy marquee matchups. Not necessarily marquee matchups, but marquee moments. Just random SBCs on Monday and Tuesday that give a lot of pack supply and supply the Team of the Week. So Saturdays have been a really good look uh, to pick up and purchase a lot of Team of the Week cards. So, Digne, why do I like him so much? Well, he's an EPL left back, and that position is always a problem uh, within the EPL. Right now, you have Andrew Robertson, Andy Robertson. So, this guy definitely has a really nice looking card. And I think another thing to point out is that he's French. Now, Nick, does it hurt his investment value because there's a lot of other French fullbacks? It does. I think the price that I would be looking for him for is like mid 40s, um, mid 40s to low 50s. That would be excellent. We got to see where he lies this weekend. But that's, I think, what I'm assuming that is going to be really good for him. He's got 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 83 defending, 78 physical, 82 passing, and 71 shooting. So all around, he does have some pretty nice statistics, um, you know, to look at initially. So I think you have to like some of those statistics. And then, you know what? I think the cool part about this card is not only, not only is he good with that, but he's got 94 jumping with 87 stamina. So a lot to like on this card and another EPL left back that you can hybrid, uh, which is really nice as well because he's French. He's easy to... He's easy to hybrid. The next guy that I really like is Wijnaldum. And I did a player, player review of this card um, already, and he's fantastic. He is so good. You guys got to try to get your hands on this card. If you did not have the luxury of getting him in your reds, he is so freaking good. Um, 86 rated. He's got 79 pace, 86 dribbling, 76 shooting, 79 defending, 80 passing, and 80 physical. He's got a three-star weak foot with four-star skills, high, high work rates, which means this guy with high, high is going to do really well uh, down and up the pitch. I love him, man. I think he's really, really solid. Um, and then you look into the end games, he can finish. He's got the dribbling stats. He's got the defending stats, the physical stats. Wijnaldum's 190K, and I don't see this guy being much lower than 160, 170. He is just that good in this game. Um, now, this is a little bit more of a higher higher tier, uh, you know, budget for investors, but is it still something that you guys can, can incorporate into your investing portfolio uh, upcoming for FIFA? Yes, 100% it is. So I like Wijnaldum a lot. I think the next guy that we got to talk about. And I know this is an interesting one, but I do really like Schmeichel. I really like Schmeichel this week. I know it's random and he's 22,000 coins right now, but he's an EPL informed goalkeeper that I do think people will slowly go for. Um, he's going to be really cheap. He's going to be an inform option and he's got 90 reflexes with 81 positioning, 84 damage. It's not a bad card. Now he's 20K right now. And if there's a chance that this guy drops to 17, 16K, that's just the screaming buy in my opinion. Leicester's playing good right now in the league, which is also going to really help his value. But if he does end up dropping down to that price, this is a fantastic purchase as an investment in my eyes. I see this one as a really safe one as well. This reminds me of, I think it was last week, Daily Blind. Very similar in terms of like the value with these two guys. Um, I think both potentially play, uh, players like Daily Blind, I still think is going to rise. But this guy, I mean, this guy's in the Premier League. So you can't really ask for that much more um, with that card. Another one that's interesting is Gundogan. I think Gundogan fits the meta for this year. Not 100%, but more than he ever has. Um, the combination of dribbling and passing, I think, is being super respected in foot this year. He's got four-star, four-star, and he's 46K. So a player that is linking a ton of players in this game. Sterling, um, you know, maybe Sané, whoever it may be. Gundogan is a very, very versatile player in people's squads this year, I think. Um, he right now is 46K, as I mentioned. I think this guy could drop to the mid 30s. If he hits mid 30s, high 30s, that's going to be the buy. I, I think he's not going to get really to there. Only He'll only get there for a few hours, and I don't know when that's going to be. You're going to have to look for that pack supply. 
But when that time does come, I think it is going to be time to strike on Gundogan, man. I really, really think Gundogan is a player that is going to be screaming by at a certain point. I think this will be a very, very nice profit per card player because I think when you do get this guy low, I think he's going to rise really nicely out of packs. This is a card that is super usable. And I remember last year because he had an early team of the week that I had done some investing in his card last year and with his early team of the week. And it did rise really, really nicely out of packs. It did have a really nice slow but nice increase um, out of packs. So don't really mind this at all, guys, as an investment. I think this one is really viable in the 30s. And then I think we have a few other cards to look at. Um, I think the first other one that we'll talk about is Harry Kane. Um, Cherry Chef we'll talk about in a second. But Harry Kane, you know, it's an, I haven't seen much gold movement with this gold card. Like, there's not been much movement with this gold card at all. But I think too cheap is too cheap for Harry Kane, right? And this card has 92 shooting in October of FIFA 20. So that's a thing within itself that you have to look at. 92 shooting is literally crazy. So Harry Kane may in fact be a really, really good pickup, guys. We'll have to see where he goes down to. He's 140K at the moment. I would love if we could get him closer to 100. 90K, I think 90 to 110 would be the, the window that I would be looking for Harry Kane. But yeah, man, he's got 95 finishing, which is just mental um in this game 95 finishing with 92 composure and 94 attack positioning so you have some really good stats to like there um with harry kane lewandowski is interesting this card probably won't rise until his player of the month expires if you guys understand what i'm saying he's got four star four star so that was a really good card this this in this team of the week but i don't think this card will will really rise until his player of the month expires so keep that in mind that's probably why i'm not crazy about him all right another one that's interesting is pianic at 33k his card is not very good. Um, he's only got 58 finishing. Think what you have to consider here is that he links a lot of players. And that's always really important. That's why I'm very, very large on, on Gundawan, right? Links a lot of players in squads. So that's something that is really important. So we'll move on to a few more of our sleeper picks this week. Um, Marco Sokuna is another one of them. Three-star weak foot, four-star skills. But he's high, high work rates. And as a center mid, this guy off the bench is crazy. Um, he's also not bad as a left back because he's high, high. He's in the Liga Noz, um, Liga Noz, Liga Noz. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. I think it's just, I'm just going to go with Liga Noz. But 93 stamina, 81 interceptions, 83 agility, 87 balance, 85 stand tackling, 85 ball control. He's got 82 acceleration, and then he's got 88 composure. And the four-star skills is something you really have to like. I've already played against this guy in draft, and he was really solid. I did not get the chance to use him, but I played against him, and he was really, really solid. So 13K right now, I mean, that's telling you that at certain point this week, you might be able to get this guy for 10K, which is really, really good value. It's going to be interesting to see if the market wants to pay more than 15K for him or if he's a card that's always going to chill around that 15K mark. Um, Inform Navas is also a really safe pickup. He kind of reminds me of Verratti last week where Verratti was like a card that was really cheap all week and just is now rising a little bit out of packs. Navas should do the same thing. Um, the PSG keeper, I mean, it's just an Inform keeper. It's nothing crazy. You're not going to see this guy going from like 50 to 80K. But this one is not a bad player to pick up one in your club just due to the fact that Guys, it's a 40,000 coin keeper for Paris that's 88 rated, right? And it's also Navas. So that's not a bad pickup. You have a few other sleepers this week. This would be another one that I'm interested in. Uh, he is playing in the Serie A, and he has a pretty decent card. He's four-star, four-star with high-high work rates, which is very ideal. He's, uh, I think he's 13K. He's 13.5K. Again, this would be a player that I would like to pick up when he gets discard. The only downside with this card is his dribbling is a little bit weak. 65 agility and 67 balance. It's just kind of not really what you want to see with dribbling on a card so there could be some better better options there and then uh yeah i mean you have shane duffy which is a discard premier league inform and then if you look at the bench mckinney's interesting uh mckinney is discard on the game he's 11.5k he's a bundesliga center mid that's not not got a terrible card again probably a 10 to 15k riser outside of that this team of the week doesn't have that much so there's some really really good investments this team of the week i think if you guys are going to splurge your coins on any this upcoming weekend or when you guys see this video Digne would be a really good one to go with out of packs why now would be a really good one if you had a few extra coins and then i think for the guys that are on the medium range of coins your your recommendation for me has to be Digne, kane schmeichel and gundawan i think those guys are guys that you can see a really nice rise within 7 to 14 days out of packs now give it time guys because you do have to understand with Team of the Week investing that there are a lot of investors, there are a lot of people that are buying these cards, are trying to invest. And what has actually happened as an example of that today was this Bergwin card. A lot of people like were really set on investing in this card and they went crazy 
and he's like now getting panic sold. Now, also, there was a League One Player Player of the Month SBC today that was dropped. That's not helping this card rise um, because that League One Player of the Month basically was really cheap, and now people are selling their Malin and uh, their Malin and their um, their Burzwin. So just keep in mind, guys. Try to stay away from overinvestment. And a lot of times with Team of the Week investing, if you do guy, if you guys do get, end up getting the cards that are cheapest, you can even flip it when they start to rise. You don't have to wait till they go out of packs. Um, so it's not a bad option. A lot of, lot of good discard inform stocks this week, like Cherry Chef as well. Don't mind you guys getting one of those. Thank you guys for watching. That's my take on this Team of the Week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in another video soon. Peace out.